What for? <laughs> Just to to let you know, um, this I, I wanted to show you uh, um, to show you this because it's incredible and important in many ways. Um, and um, just to let you know what it was, um, this is the golden parade of the pharaohs, and it's because today um, Egypt was. Um, was taking the um, 25, around 25 pharaohs, uh, queens and kings from the ancient Egypt, from the old museum uh, in, in, the, in central Cairo to the new museum of ancient civilizations. So it is really, it was really special, really, really amazing. I was trying to show you as much as I could, well, I hope I hope uh, you could see a little bit, and of course it was uh, good in many reasons. So it was a really good example of honoring the past. So let's begin with the short uh, explanation. <clears throat> the topic for today very related to any point of view that you want to, to take. The question for today is, what for? What for? Remember that what comes from quo in, in the European language, that means a thing, concrete thing, that we are going to speak about. And then for comes from the word, the Latin word pro, that means ahead, something that is in front. So um, what for? What for is the question that speaks about the future of things, the goal of the things that we do. <clears throat> so uh, we have to remember one of the laws of the universe, of the universe, which is cause and effect. So the question why is the one that goes to the origin, to the causes of the things. And the question what for is the one that goes to the effects of the things, to the future aspects of, of something. Um, so um, remember that yesterday when we spoke about the, um, the, um, the question why, I explained that it was related to the uh, the origin of things. So we have to go to the causes of all things. So as much you go to the origin, you will find the very beginning and the very original cause of all things. And that means that before that, there's nothing, is the eternal origin. So this means that there is no other origin or cause to that main cause. And this means that there is no past and no present in the beginning of the universe. This means that the first time existing is the future. The future is all the possibilities of that cause. So when you reach the very origin of all the causes, 
you can only find possibilities that comes from that cause, from that origin. And that's why the next question that someone must do is what for, which is regarding the future, the future of things. The question what for is the one that allows us to find different possibilities and different perspectives of one answer. Without the question what for, we wouldn't be able to find new ways to transform ourselves, to change. So the question what for is a key that allows us to move forward towards the future. So when we think about the future, what we usually do is to uh, relate the goal of the future with success. And when we think about success, is because we start to believe that the main goal of everything in our life is to achieve our goals and to find the purpose of what we are seeking for. So when we speak about success, this means that we consider success those things that we are looking for. Like success can be to have money, success can be to raise, to, to reach the top of the mountain. Success can be uh, to be able to connect with yourself through meditation. A success could be, I don't know, um, to reach peace, inner peace or whatever. So from this point of view, to achieve a success can be seen from different point of views. It's, it's not, uh, it, it's from the, from the mental, from the emotional, from the physical way. So it's to achieve a goal that we have in our lives. So the reason why we think about success in a different way is because we live in a world that have been using the uh, capitalistic idea of um, um, uh, the capitalistic idea for a globalization according to um, competition. Uh, <clears throat> it's much more <clears throat> about um, um, going um, to be over the other ones, to, to reach things, physical things, to have um, this competition. So um, we can have, all, of course, a capitalism that is organic, but we don't have an organic capitalistic capitalism today. <clears throat> we have uh, capitalism according to competition. Um, so this is why we relate success. The, the people that that is in the spiritual path or in a much more social path, um, uh, we can we can usually think about success as something that is wrong or something that is bad. But for the people that lives in a society like ours today um, is, is, is not, is, is good. But we have a great mistake uh, re regarding the word success, because in our society, we consider success as a destiny, a, po a, a place where we have to go to, something to reach, when success really means a point from where you get out. So the concept, the concept of success comes from the etymology sequence. Sequence is the one that follows a sequency of things. So success is something that is under other thing and it keeps going and keeps following something new. So it's not related to reach one place, but to follow and keep moving from one place to another. That's what it means really success. <clears throat> In Spanish, we have the word éxito to describe success, which is the same origin of the word exit in English. So exit is from where you, where you go out. So it's not something that you reach is from where you go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this speaks um, 
that we have this misunderstanding of um, uh, of uh, success as being something that you reach that you have um, when really is the one that is that is telling you that in order to be better you have to transform yourself and to keep moving not to stay in one spot so the one that has really success is the one that transforms constantly itself so once we understand the concept of um success we can really get the point the idea of the question what for the question what for is the one that helps me to move forward and to transform myself in questions like um, um, I want or, or in statements like I want to be rich so the question would be what for and I don't know the answer to be free or to be happy so the question is what for and you keep asking what for once and again once and again so the way the reason why you do this is the same reason why you asked why you ask why to the past you go back and back and back looking for the origin of things in the past asking why so what for you ask in order to find the answer for the purpose as much you ask what for to everything that you want to do you reach the idea of the purpose the question what for and the idea of success are really one for another why is this because the the main concept of of um, success is to move forward and the main concept an idea of the question what for is to make you doubt in that objective that goal that you had in your life so when you ask what for what for to each one of 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 your goals in life you allow yourself to transform the goal of success so you are really succeeding in your life because you are transcending the previous idea so thanks to the question what for we set ourselves free from the idea of um from the idea uh of this goal of being success successful mm -hmm. so we set ourselves free so we can keep moving keep transforming ourselves and not being stuck in the past mm -hmm. in one only idea so as I said, it's really important for us to ask ourselves what for in order to evolve in our life. So now the question what for has two different aspects. One connotation which is conditional and another connotation that is unconditional. So remember what is condition. Condition is something that comes from the Latin condicit, which means something that is set by all of us, something that we have decided by speaking together. So a condition means that we already said something and we decided that this is in this way and we cannot change it. Hmm? So what it is in conditional and conditional is something that wasn't spoke by many and it doesn't really matter what it was said is really free from all the perspectives from everything that was said so now let's go to the linguistics do you remember what it's what it is a conditional when you write a sentence um uh, i don't know if we are going back to school, so <laughs> taking you back to language um, school. Um, <clears throat> let's understand what is a conditional in language. It's all the sentences that you write with 
if, okay, if. So for example, I'm gonna do this if I do that. I can go that place if I go first this place. I will do this if I first accomplish that. So a conditional is that you are going to do something, you're going to do something if there is another thing that allows you to, like there, there must be something something more that allows you to do um, to do what you are aiming to do. Um, so that's a conditional. They put the music even time louder. So now, how can we see this conditional in the what for? When we say, for example, what, um, I don't know how to make the sentence, sorry. <laughs> the music is making me. Um, so, um, what is this goal for um, if, if at the end everything is the same? What to say for if never listen? So, these kind of questions like you are trying to um, um, this kind of questions that you are trying to ask yourself what for why do this for if it will never change if it will never happen or these kind of things so those questions are made from the ego the conditional is from the ego so the ego speaks in conditional because the ego is trying to find the is, is trying to take the control of all things. So the unconditional way of asking what for is like that person that is willing to learn how to do things, that is open to all the possibilities, and that does the question, what is this for? What is that for? But those questions are in order to find, to figure out new ways of doing things. So we could say that the what for in a conditional way is from an is a question from an adult that is frustrated in the things that that person is doing. And the unconditional what for is that kid that is willing to learn a new way of doing things. Hmm? So now I leave you this question. <clears throat> From where do you do the question what for? <clears throat> From the condition or the unconditioned? You have to make yourself the question. So I invite you to write the questions. All the questions that you have within that starts with what for. Hmm? Just write the questions, doesn't matter the answer, just the questions. And also, when you write these questions, try to think from where are you writing them? Are you writing them to be successful on a purpose in your life? reaching a goal or are you writing down these questions in order to transform transcend evolve go beyond and be sincere with your questions and answers because i don't really care what are your answers this is not an exam so i don't really care is your problem but you have to figure it out. Hmm? Just be sincere with yourself. 
um, for example, uh, today I wrote that my questions in the blog. I wrote my what for in the blog. And of course that they were from the ego uh, because um, it was conditional. I figured out when, as I was writing them, so you can judge me because it's public, but I'm not going to read your notes. So don't fool yourself. Be sincere with yourself uh, because I don't really care. I, I, I don't care if you say, uh, yes, I, I am unconditional um, because I'm looking for transcendence. I, I, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care. This is not an exam. This is not of being good or being bad. No, this is just to see how you have within, with yourself, to figure out for your own self. Okay, <clears throat> no need to show it to any teacher. So let's read the information for today. The vibration for today is ge. The statement for today is I am coherence vision. The code for today is the constellation of boots. In its heart, this constellation guards the second brightest star on the firmament, Arturus. Its history is the one of the peasant that herds oxen. This means Taurus, guiding them so that their strength move the plow that will open the furrows where the seeds of new worlds will be planted. Do you hear the music? So let's try to do the alignment. I'm really listening to the music a lot. So let's go to the alignment. So sit comfortable, close your eyes and concentrate in your breathing. I become aware of the room, the space I find myself in, of the body I find myself in, and just focus on the breathing. I visualize upon me a divine spark. I take a deep breath, descending this divine spark to my crown. I activate the spark in my crown chakra with a question. What is my beliefs for? Ignite the spark. I descend this spark to my third eye.
with deep breath, I expand the spark toward every direction in my brain and my eyes. Activating the question, what are my thoughts for? I breathe deep and ignite the question. I descend the spark to my throat chakra. With my breathings, I ignite its light within me. And I activate the question. What are my words for? And I ignite the question. I descend the divine spark to my heart. With every deep breath, I set light in this spark wider towards every direction. And I activate my question what are my feelings for? I descend the divine spark to my solar plexus. With every deep breath, I ignite the spark in every direction and I activate the question. What am I for? Ignite. I take a deep breath, descending this divine spark to the sacrum. With every deep breath, I ignite this divine spark to every direction of my sacrum, activating the question, what am I doing this for?
ignite. I descend this divine spark to my root chakra. With every deep breath, I expand this divine spark to my genitals. And in its light, I activate the question What I have all this for? I take a deep breath, descending this divine spark to my knees. With every deep breath, I start to ignite the strength of light in my knees. In it, I activate the question, what am I seeking for? Breathe and ignite the question. I descend this divine spark to my feet. With every deep breath, I ignite this divine spark in every direction from my ankles. And through this light, I activate the question What am I heading to this purpose for? And I ignite this question in me. I take a deep breath and I start to ignite this spark in every one of my chakras towards every direction in my body. I feel the light expanding and the light of my question opening my path to the success. I activate this divine spark. Thank mm -hmm. you.
I am the vision of coherence. I am the vision of coherence. I am the vision of coherence. I am, I am, I am. Take a deep breath and stretching and yawning. Each one come back here and now at its own time. Thank you everybody for being here as always and see you tomorrow at the same time.